foot nine centre half away at Brentford. Very difficult, and I think he's seen that. Um, but those players, I think, to be fair, we've told the story of them now for 12 months, and I feel like they're just continually, we're continually saying the same things about the same people. However, I can't believe eight months out, nine months ago, was it Ralph Raniak said that Manchester United needed open heart surgery? He was the guy that was going to come in and direct this club moving forward beyond his coaching role. So they've obviously not listened to him or they've got complete inability to be able to bring the players into the club. And that's the problem now. Manchester United in the past, in the last 10 years, have always answered the fans' anger through money and spending in the transfer market. The problem is now no one wants to take the money. And that's a massive issue. And, and maybe no one wants to come here at the moment. Well, that's either. what I'm saying. No one wants to take the money. I mean, at the end, they can't, they can't spend the money. Mm. And that's a big problem. And so I said at half time, if you're a player watching that performance in the first half, what are you thinking about coming to this club? You know, it's a great football club. It's a magic football club. It's been the biggest thing in my life. And I couldn't be sort of more proud to support the club. But at this moment in time, it is really desperate. Really, really desperate. There's no leadership. There is no voice. You can't blame you know, the individual player or the manager, you know, you've got to look above. You have to look to the very top now. And this week, honestly, there are going to be, they're going to get peppered, those players, the coach, the sporting department, the new CEO, they're all going to get peppered. But there's a family over there in America who are just literally letting their employees take all the hits for them. And that is unforgivable. They've got to get on a plane. Joel Glazer has got to get on a plane tomorrow. He's got to get over to Manchester and he's got to start to divert the issues away from the club and tell everybody what the hell his plan is with the football club. What is he doing? Yeah, I get that, but you can't... No, 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 can't, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've had to go to the players you, before the break, though, you, Jamie. You, you've you had can't keep blaming the players. You can't keep blaming the owners when players you, are performances you, you, like Jamie, that. You've had when got, you're a player, Jamie, do you actually think Jamie, to yourself... Jamie, you've had to go to the players before the break. No, 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 no,
it does not come from the family. So let's get this out of our heads that the Glazer family are putting money in every year, like Roman Abramovich did, like the Saudi Arabians are doing at Newcastle, like Sheikh Mansour's done at Manchester City. They're hand in the pocket, spending on players. They've not done that. They've borrowed and they've used the revenue that the club generates through its incredible fan base and a great commercial operation. That's what's happened. So anybody that owns that club, if, if us four own that club tomorrow, we could spend the same money every year on that football club through its generation of revenues. That's a fact. These owners, since Sir Alex Ferguson, have proven in 10 years they cannot manage a forward-thinking football club. It's been overtaken in every single department, and it's painful you, and it's when, woeful. When, when Sir Alex Ferguson was a manager, he was happy to work for them. You were happy to work for them. And they weren't quite so bad. No, Jamie, I was a footballer at the club and I would die for this football club. Exactly. So why the don't these players here right. do the same thing then? So What's the difference? My point is that at this moment in time, there has been a toxic culture and atmosphere created at the club over a 10-year period without its leader, Sir Alex Ferguson and David Gill, who were propping the club up, whilst the family, to be fair, was sat there in America glorifying the fact that they were part of it. We're now seeing what has happened without Sir Alex Ferguson, without David Gill, without leadership. We're now seeing what's happening and it's a mess and it cannot continue to go on. It can't. It is possible to have an owner who is absent if the appointments that they put in place are the right Absolutely. appointments. So is your criticism then of the appointments that the Glazers are making, the people who are in charge of the transfers, the people who are ma appointing the, the manager, is that where your criticism of the Glazers is? The embedded failure over a 10-year period and where the club are currently at has to come back to the ownership. You can, I blamed Edward for a long time, but the reality is the Glazer family left him in situ when he shouldn't have been left in situ in charge of the football side. I think Ed probably would have done a good, a good job on the business side. They've still not dealt with the football operation. They've still not dealt with the players and the recruitment department. They've still not dealt with the stadium, which is rusting and needs massive money spending. Manchester United need a billion pounds in this next two, three years to either rebuild or renovate that stadium. They probably need another five, six hundred million pounds for training ground and other infrastructure projects and football and football investment. They've only got 40, 50 million pounds cash left in the bank. They were cash rich three years ago. They had 350 million pounds in the bank. They've no longer got that money in the bank. Something is going to have to give soon, very, very soon.